To write a smart contract on any blockchain, you do require some technical skills and really good programming skills, especially when you're dealing with people's money. Now, Cardano has done something really, really cool, and that is a web interface where you can drag and drop elements in and build smart contracts from it. Makes it really easy, lowers the barrier of entry for anyone to be able to write their own smart contract. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury. If this is your first time here, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you hear more great Cardano content from me. But this is something really cool. 10 years ago, I didn't think it would be possible to build a really good website from a web interface, dragging and dropping elements around. But now we're seeing services such as Squarespace, Wix, and even Canva, allowing you to build amazing designs and interactions all from a web browser so you can sit back relax and drag your elements around and not have the technical knowledge needed to set up a back-end server CMS whatever it is you need to do to set up a website and these services are absolutely fantastic and are dominating a lot of the website building space at the moment now comes Marlow, and they're doing the same thing, but with smart contracts, lowering that barrier to entry and allowing almost anyone with a little bit of technical knowledge to understand the logic to be able to build a smart contract. So with, if you're building a smart contract on Ethereum, you need to learn Solidity and learn how to set up your development environments and all sorts of things. It's a little bit harder on Cardano where you have to learn Haskell, Plutus and set up your development environments for that. This takes all of that out of the equation and all you need to understand is the business logic and how the smart contracts actually work. So take a look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. So like I said, the team from IOG have been working on this for quite a while. And so this is just a visual uh, screenshot of what I took of the escrow and collateral smart contract from their Marlow Playground Builder. Actually, here it is here. Why, why am I showing you a screenshot? So as you can see, you can simply pull and drag elements around and use that to actually write your smart contract. This one here is fairly complex. As you can see, it goes through quite a few different uh, parameters and different uh, conditions that you need to go through for this particular contract. But if I just click on new and click on blocky, so here we have a brand new contract that you can actually start playing around with. And I love what they've done with the actual notches here. So see this little notch, it means you can only put in particular elements, particular blocks into this particular part of the contract. So we have the starter wrapper for the contract. And from here, we can actually then start putting in conditions into that particular contract. So here you can see that actually expand out and allow me to actually put that into this part of the contract. So now we have a really simple logic of the starting the contract. When something happens after a lot of amount of time, we continue to do something else. So it's building out the really bare basics of the contract for you and it makes it so easy to do. So here we can pull in some other actions here. So now we have some actions, we'll pull that in. So when a deposit happens by a particular party, let's go party, particular role, and this might be a buyer. And then it can execute and do other things. So you could see there from that really simple example that I'm building out the very first parts of the contract and it doesn't take too long to do at all. Now, I thought this is all pretty well and good, but someone actually told me that this type of builder, this programming builder, is actually being taught to school children at the moment. Now, if you have a look at this, this is called Scratch. It's a, a visual programming language uh, actually made by MIT. And if you go through this one here, let me just expand this one out. Here we go, see inside. We can see their builder is almost exactly the same. So we have all these different uh, bits of code here. So we can pull out these particular notches into the programming workflow so that things will happen as we progress through it. So here at Kids are building out really simple and basic games. And we can see here that I thought pizza was appropriate. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any pineapple on it. But let me just expand out this one. You can see how this particular game works. So this is called Rainbow Pizza. When you click on it, the pizza changes 
color. And as you go through the game, you can get uh, auto clicks. So it will automatically click for you. And then you get a baker, it will click even more and et cetera, et cetera. So you can gain all these clicks to change the color. And eventually when you get to a point where you're at a really high level of clicks, you can automate the process for you and have rainbow colored backgrounds with the pizza bump jumping up and down. Now this is what kids are doing. This is what kids are learning through this particular builder. And seriously, if, if we're having a generation of kids learning how to program through this type of builder, when it comes to the point when they're actually working through their own careers and building out smart contracts, it's a no brainer for them. They're already prepped and prepared to use builders like this to write smart contracts, preparing kids for the future. And here we have IG preparing smart contracts in the same and similar interface. So they can be writing smart contracts and writing the next DeFi applications or whoever, who knows whatever they'll be by the age of 10. Yeah, think about that. That's, that's absolutely amazing. Now the team have also been working hard on uh, all the tooling that we need for this as well. So the new Marlow CLI interface has been put into play and we can start playing around with it so we can actually execute these smart contracts on the blockchain as well. So they've put out a nice little blog post about it, all of it and you can read all about it there. I'll put links down below for you so you can uh, get up to speed around the Marlow CLI tool. Now, the other really cool thing that they mentioned here is the Marlow Discord. I didn't realize it had a specific Discord. This is all a part of the IG technical communities where you can join the Discord and ask specific questions around Marlow's so you can get up to speed with it. Furthermore, they have now released the Pioneers program for Marlow. So we can now join the Marlow Pioneers program and be educated into how to actually use the Marlow Builder, the Marlow Playground, so that we can build smart contracts from, from it all. All this is absolutely amazing. I have signed up and I'll be going through the Marlow Pioneers program. I think this is where my technical skills fit perfectly and I'll be writing smart contracts with Marlow. So all this is absolutely amazing and I cannot wait for the Marlow's Pioneer program to come out so that I can get up to speed with exactly what I need to know and how to write a smart contract with the platform as well. If you're interested, links are down below for you so you can sign up and learn how to write smart contracts with a visual builder. I am so excited for Cardano at the moment. If you really like this type of content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell and you hear more from me soon. See ya. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.